Hey what's up YouTube, my name is Tyler Reckhart and welcome back to another video tutorial. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a tutorial. Uh, I know I said I'd stop making videos, uh, but my schedule has freed up a little bit lately. I don't have as much work. Uh, I'm just working on some, a few major projects that, uh, so I'm not doing any freelance work uh, for the moment. So I figured I'd get back into the uh, tutorial making business. Um, I will make tutorials every now and again, but they're not going to be as fluent. Um, but today we're going to be making a Adobe Fireworks tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be how to create a simple, resizable vector icon. Uh, we're going to be using the uh, Dribble Basketball logo as an example for this. So we're just going to, going to, uh, sorry about that, go to the Dribble website and go get the basketball logo. Wait, wait for that to load. Safari is slow. No, don't no. use Chrome. Well, I use Chrome. But I'm not using it right now because I've got a bunch of stuff open that nobody needs to see. Alright, so it starts out as a PSD. Alright, and I've already got a Photoshop document open. So that will work. And we're just going to go ahead and save this as a PNG. done that. Oh, where did I save that to? Um, uh, Alright. Put that up there and just clean it up. Alright, so we're just going to open up Adobe Fireworks. I'm in CS5, but any uh, Creative Suite version will work for this. And I'm just going to, uh, you know, I'm actually going to open up one of my previous versions. So this is the icon. Um, as you can see, we will go pretty precise um, with the lines and whatnot. So I'm just going to zoom out to 100%. And new 1920 by 1080 could just because that is my uh, screen resolution and uh, that's what I like to use so I'm gonna just hit OK and what we're going to do is I'm just going to create a background real quick we'll do that and give it a nice gray tone a little bit darker okay okay now that we have that we're just going to um, import the uh, Walmart and there we go so this is not a resizable vector because if you see I resize it and it's uh, hold on resize it enough and it starts to get uh, pixelated and we don't want that so let's just get this up and we're going to do a hundred percent so what we're going to do is select our ellipse tool make sure our color is on white and we're just going to create a circle by holding shift it'll stay straight and we're going to just kind of, oh, that was perfect, actually. Good job, Tyler. <laughs> um, I didn't even mean to do that. So now that we have that, we're just going to drag this layer on top. Uh, we're going to hit uh, C, Control C, and Control V, or if you're on a Mac, Command C, and Command V, to copy and paste a new uh, ball. So let's Control T or Command T. And resize it to the inner section of 
the ball. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this layer black and I'm going to shift and so that both of my uh, ball layers are selected. That's what she said. Go to combine paths and punch. So if I move this, it is like that. So that's what we did there. So now what we're going to do is just take the pen tool and create the lines. This is probably the simplest part of the process, but you have to be precise. So actually I'm going to zoom in. If I zoom in, you can see the pixelation on it. Uh, let's go to 400%. Let's start here. Actually, I need to be at 100% for this. Sorry, I'm not going to be completely exact just because this is a tutorial and it's not like I'm making this into anything at the moment. So I'm just going to, if you hit Alt, it will convert the point so that it, you don't get a big uh, curve when you click your for another point. So let's do that. Just gotta get that lined up. All right. And our fill is white. Okay, so there's a very very basic one of that. Now it's time to do these. And. That does not want to cooperate, so I'm going to move that down a little. There we go. And make that white. And finally, this one. Like I said, I'm not being perfect on this just because it's a tutorial. And uh, if I was going to be perfect on this, I would be zooming in and actually taking my time which would take a couple of minutes and I don't want to bore you guys to, uh, so I'm just gonna do this and that's good let's make it white and let's get rid of this okay so there's a very basic ball mark vector uh, we can delete that now because we have our basics so we're going to take our sub selection tool or the white mouse pointer and just kind of alter these paths so that everything fits and you can get the hand uh, the tangent handles to adjust your curves and other things like that just to make it a little bit better um, like that a little bit like that and let's make this one a little over a little. Alright, alright. So now that we have that, we're just going to take and shift so that we can select all of our paths here. We're going to go to modify, well not modify actually, we're going to go to uh, edit, uh, you know, actually, you, yeah, you do go to modify and you just hit group or if you're on a or for a shortcut, if you're on a PC, Control Z. If you're on a Mac, Command not Control Z. Uh, Control G. If you're on a Mac, uh, Command G, and it will group it. And once you have your grouped object, you can zoom out. So let's go back to about 50% here, and this is completely 100% resizable, so that you can resize it to any uh, pixelation, well any size, and it will still remain smooth, just like this. Uh, let's grab this, make it small, this is uh, a little bit laggy because I made the, uh, the ball mark vector so big. Yeah, it's getting better because it's getting smaller. All right, so if we just resize this all the way down to there, as you can see, it is still uh, unpixelated. And that's what I did with this. It, this was originally uh, 
actually a very big icon, but um, I shrunk it down and uh, I spent my time on this one. As you can see, I made sure that all of the paths were correct and whatnot. So uh, that's the tutorial for today. Um, I probably do some speed arts coming up soon, so stay tuned for those. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Tyler Rockart. I am the CEO of Bitmetrics, a web development uh, company, and uh, we've got some big stuff coming soon. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.